Hey everybody, welcome. We're in Sydney, uh, Sydney, Australia, on the next part of the Trusted Virtual Trainer World Tour. I'm very excited about this gig. Uh, we've got John Nawadka with us, lead guitarist, uh, currently on stage. And he's got stickers about project management and change management on his guitar when he's strutting around stage. <laughs> All right, John. How you doing? Wait. All right. Th thanks, Greg, for that... Uh... Interesting um, introduction. <laughs> I just made it up right then. Yeah. You do play guitar, do you? Yeah, no, no. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> I wish I could play the guitar. <laughs> so thanks a lot for joining us, John. It's really good to see you. I hope everything's going well in Sydney. Um, yeah, no, pretty lovely day here today. A bit cold, but not too bad. I'm sure you Aussies will be okay with a little bit of cold. So <laughs> this, um, this little four or five minute video has got a big risk of going to 40 or 50 minute video interview because uh, we're going to talk about how virtual trainers can get tripped over with technology. And so John, you're an expert in not getting tripped over. So what kind of things can virtual trainers do to protect themselves from getting punched in the face by uh, their internet? crashing or something else going wrong what kind of things do you look at well thanks craig um well i mean just generally we this is just risk management just one of the important things is is that um you got a stable internet connection but um i mean internet goes down from time to time but what i'm what i am aware of is in what cases does the internet go down for example when there's a storm about or anything like that and do you have a backup provider? You know, for example, do you know how to tether your laptop, PC, or whatever you happen to be using to your phone um, and, and use an alternate prov um, provider? Okay. So things like that. So, you know, think of it as, as um, risk management. Also, the technology that you use, you know, webcam. You know, go for a, a decent quality webcam. You know, you don't want... Um, um, well, you want your image to be as sharp as possible. Yeah. Um, and also a good quality microphone. So, uh, yeah, just okay. a few basics like that. You know, spend some money. Uh, like, I'm not saying spend thousands of dollars. $150 will get you a fairly decent um, high-definition webcam. Um, and uh, probably under $100 for, uh, you know, a good headset with a directional mic, if you'd like to use headsets. Um, personally, I find using a headset works effectively because um, it, uh, you don't pick, pick up that potential feedback and things like that. So, okay. Um, okay. So, hang on a second. So does that mean you check the weather channel before you run in a virtual training the next day? Yeah. 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 Just to know is, you know, is there a possibility of a, you know, major thunderstorm on its way, mm -hmm. you know, because that could mean that the internet might go down. You know, um, yeah. That's, you, that's I mean, that's a good point. Um, I think especially now, this is perhaps even more important because I know like there's so many people online, what a friend of a million people using Zoom is everyone's video and then it's gonna be uh, sucking up a lot of capacity. So have you, have, you, um, have you crashed out halfway through a course before then based on something going wrong or uh, internet going down, for example? No, no, luckily, <laughs> no, I haven't. Um... So, but, you know, I do have a backup just in case. And what I guess it's... Backup? it's wait, backup? Uh, my backup is my phone um, okay. and connected to a 4G, 4G uh, network. Okay. Um, worst case scenario, I can relocate to, to uh, another place, um, not that far away. So it shouldn't take me too long to get there and that sort of thing. But that's uh, very much a worst case scenario. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess, you know, you have these risk mitigation plans in place and touch wood, nothing happens. It's when you don't have them in place and something goes wrong, that's, that's what you need to be uh, mindful of. Yeah, sure. So uh, let me tell, tell me this. If you've got like uh, John's risk log about virtual training and on that you've got risk of, there may be a risk that the laptop dies, the action is going to be this, this, this and this. 
Yeah, I've got alternate hardware around the around the place as well. Okay. Um, I'm a little bit of a technology geek when it comes to that sort of thing. I do have a couple of laptops and things like that around, okay. so I can always jump on um, even just a desktop PC with a you know a USB webcam. You can you can jump on um, an alternate device if necessary. Interesting. Okay, so you've got a double backup on the laptops. You've got a decent mic, decent headphones. Think about how to reconnect the internet if it does go down. Make sure you can tether it up to your data on your phone and yep. think about potentially having a risk log of all the all the uh, Murphy's Law stuff that could potentially go wrong. Yeah. Yeah, even things like uh, knowing what your webcam can see. I mean, when you're facing the, the webcam, um, you can't see what's going on behind you. So yeah. I, I remember a, a couple of occasions with um, training courses I've done recently where I had a, a, um, a lady, um, she was in New Zealand and it was nighttime over there. Uh, this was towards the end of our day. Uh, it was nighttime over there already. Uh, and she had a, a window uh, behind her. So during the day, it wasn't a, an issue, but at night, that window behind her became a mirror. So anybody that was walking around her unit and I could see, I guess it was her husband or whatever, um, luckily he was clothed, <laughs> um, walking around, um, you know, preparing dinner, doing all sorts of things there. Um, and, you know, uh, just a bit of a distraction, yeah. not only distraction for, for, you know, the trainer, uh, but also, you know, for anybody else that's attending the class, but she would have been blissfully unaware because of the fact that the, the, um, window was behind her. So. Yeah, that's interesting. There's a lot to be said for really cool kind of backdrops like this eh? and like your one. Yeah, well, that's right. And, uh, make sure that, um, you know, if you've got that. Uh, ability to have a backdrop um, and keep it fairly plain. Yeah, um, sorry about that. I kind of didn't check that box. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> uh, another thing that I do with regards to that, by the way, is um, I, I usually have a different theme each day. Okay. Um, so, you know, like I've got uh, Mangrove Monday, um, Tranquil Tuesday, that sort of thing. So, and, and the backdrop kind of depicts that just to give it, just to lift it up a little bit, just to yeah, make fine. it a bit uh, a bit more interesting. If you're going to be backdrops, you might as well work it into your training. As well, you want you want to be sticking one of these uh, trusted virtual trainer accreditation digital badges on yours, then, John. Now, yeah, I should do that. Actually, yes, exactly. good idea. Exactly. Well, look, John, uh, we could talk all day about this stuff, but yeah. many people don't want to listen to stuff for more than five minutes, even if you uh, they are looking at a rock star in uh, in Sydney about. Um, being a technology geek when it comes to virtual training. So um, let's wrap it up. Thanks ever so much for jumping in and having a conversation with me. It's really good That's to right. see you. And again, congratulations on um, you know, getting the accreditation as a trusted virtual trainer. It's great to have you. trainers like you, um, you know, part of the family and accredited as of course conductor. So uh, congratulations for that. Okay, great. Thank you. And, and thanks for the opportunity to, uh, to gain that recognition. It's cool, man. We uh, look forward to seeing you again. We're going to be popping back to Australia at some point, so we'll have to give you a shout for the, uh, for the after party. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> cool. All right, John. Thanks a lot. <laughs> All right. Again. Okay, bye. thanks. All right. Okay, bye. Hi, it's me again. Wow, wasn't that awesome listening to John and all those nuggets of knowledge that he's got with how he manages risk when he's doing virtual training? Definitely something for all of us to think about. John's a great example of why we're going around the world on this tour every week, speaking to a trusted virtual trainer to learn from them, to capture those nuggets of knowledge gold, and to then share them with our wider virtual training community so everyone can learn from it and take a step forward towards being a little bit more successful with their virtual training. And that links into why Course Conductors here. We fundamentally believe that everyone deserves the best professional training. So we put all of our energy into fairly identifying which trainers really are the best of the best in virtual training. And then we award our digital credential, our trusted virtual trainer digital badge to those people. And that gives them a competitive edge and helps them to directly win more business. 
the more business we can generate for you as a trusted virtual trainer, the better it is for the world and we achieve our belief, which is everyone deserves the best professional training. So we're so pleased that you're with us and we look forward to seeing you next week at the next gig.